There is a potential for a record-breaking blizzard to hit the Northeast Thursday night into Friday. The ingredients for this is coming out of the Rockies right now. You can see um, a clipper system is coming out of the Rockies and uh, it's going to form a trough and it's going to meet up with some Gulf of Mexico moisture and this will in turn form into a coastal storm off the coast of North Carolina and because this is going to be such a big storm it's going to have a lot of moisture in the backside which will lead to pretty significant snowfall amounts in the northeast and you can see that the storm will be the heaviest and longest lasting along the coast so this could allow for one to two feet of snow potentially for the northeast why am I thinking so much snow it's gonna be because of the cold we're going to have temperatures in the upper teens to low 20s. And the high on Friday is going to be only 18 degrees in New York City, which is extremely, extremely cold. We don't usually get storms like this. And even when we do get big blizzards, temperatures are usually in the mid to upper 20s. But this time, temperatures are going to be in the low 20s, potentially even upper teens. The high Friday might only be 17 degrees with near blizzard conditions. And uh, I'll show you what I mean. It's going to be colder than negative 10 degrees Celsius, which is about 20 degrees. So with this kind of cold, we're going to get significant snow. I mean, you can see it's the atmosphere is going to be all soaked up with moisture all the way up to 400 millibars. All the way up to 400 millibars, it's going to be soaked with moisture. And so we're going to get significant snow, especially in New York City. This is looking at New York City. Queens in particular it's going to be extremely cold temperatures are going to be in the teens it's going to be between 15 and 20 degrees in New York City Boston as you can see will be between 5 and 10 above single digits with snow this is looking at hour 96 precipitation with temperatures in the single digits and southern Jersey could get over 2 feet of snow I wouldn't be surprised if this happens why? Again, temperature. It's going to be very cold with heavy snow. So Southern Jersey, New York City, Long Island, Southern Connecticut, all of Rhode Island, Southern New England could get two feet of snow. I wouldn't be surprised if this happens. All the difference is how close does the storm get. If the storm tracks just a little bit closer to the coast, say about right here, and you get this heavy blob right over New York City, you're talking about an all-out blizzard. You're talking extremely heavy snow. Southern Connecticut could get it. New York City could get it. Either way, you're looking at a significant storm. The model might be overdoing this or underdoing it a little bit right now. I don't know. But either way, you're going to look at a huge storm. I mean, just look at it. Just sitting and spinning. It's going to be giving northeast winds, which is going to be allowing Arctic air to come in out of uh, the Canadian Maritimes and moisture to come in off the Atlantic, which is just going to pile in the snow. It's, this is going to be a significant storm. And you can see this color right here, the little blue, dark. Um, that's going to be a pretty significant snow. It's coming into to Long Island and into Connecticut. So how much snow we're going to get? I'm thinking anywhere between 18 and 24 inches. It's a pretty safe bet right now, 18 to 24 inches. Especially southern New Jersey, coastal Long Island, and eastern Connecticut. And all of Rhode Island and southern Massachusetts. New York City, I'm thinking more or less same amount, maybe a little more than a little less. You might get a little less because it's going to be a little warmer right in the city, so you might get a little urban heat island. But Queens, Eastern Long Island, you could get two feet of snow. This looks like pretty much a 1996 or 2003 scenario where Arctic air was in play for the storm. There's going to be much more Arctic air in play with this storm. So... Highs on Saturday won't get out of the teens. Highs on Saturday is going to be 14, 15 degrees. Lows will be pretty much in the single digits. Lows might be as cold as zero in New York City. I'm looking at this model right now. We might get some zero degree readings in New York City. Minus 20s even parts of uh, the Poconos. So it's going to be very cold. And especially with a high pressure system situated over the northeast, it's going to be very cold at night with no wind. You can see just high pressure. So it's going to be a potentially record-breaking snowfall for parts of the Northeast. 
and couple that with extreme cold following. And not only that, we might get another storm just maybe a few days later. So, I don't know if this is going to be a pretty weak storm, but either way, you can have a pretty significant storm. We could get two back-to-back -back storms. I don't want to be, you know, the bearer of bad news, but we can get two snowstorms in a row. So, January looks pretty cold and stormy for a lot of the Northeast and pretty much for the most of the countries, especially the eastern half. Well, there's still a lot of time and anything could happen between now and Friday. The storm could completely go off the coast harmlessly or we can get a big snowstorm. But more than likely, we're going to get a pretty significant snowstorm. I'm expecting 18 to 24 inches. Last night's model run of the Euro said 4 feet. I think that model is significantly overdoing it, and I think we're just going to get 1 to 2 feet is a pretty safe bet. Most likely, blizzard warnings will have to be issued because uh, it's going to be very cold and you know we're going to get a lot of blowing and drifting in the northeast. So I put this area in a pretty safe bet for 1 to 2 feet of snow with maybe some localized amounts up to 30 inches if we get any convective banding. Well, I hope everyone has a happy new year. Please stay safe and I will make another video on Wednesday before the storm hits. Have a great day everyone.